Jelly Bean Story Page, The Puppy's Halloween Mystery The morning after Halloween was unusually quiet. Normally, the yard was buzzing with squirrels to chase and leaves to sniff, but today, the four puppy siblings, Penny, Max, Luna, and Gus, couldn't shake a strange feeling. Their noses twitched as they caught whiffs of leftover candy, pumpkin, and something else. Did you guys see where all the Halloween treats went? Max asked, scratching his ear in confusion. The ones we buried last night? No way, said Luna, her ears perking up. They'd made a secret stash in the garden while the humans were busy handing out candy, and they'd worked hard on it. But now, their hidden treasure was gone. Gus, the youngest and most excitable, leapt into the air and spun in circles. This is a mystery, he barked. We need to sniff out the truth. The pups lined up in a row, noses to the ground, their tails wagging in unison as they sniffed around the yard. They tracked the scent through the flower bed, past the shed, and over to the big oak tree where they were certain they'd buried the candy. Look, tiny paw prints, whispered Penny, pointing her nose at a set of small footprints in the soft dirt. Not ours, said Max, his brow furrowing, and too small for a cat. They followed the mysterious trail until they reached the edge of the yard. There, under the fence, they spotted a little hole just big enough for a... Raccoon! They all shouted together. As if on cue, a bush nearby rustled, and out peeked a pair of curious eyes. A small raccoon, covered in bits of candy wrappers and looking rather guilty, stared at the pups. Uh, hello? said the raccoon nervously, edging backward, clearly caught in the act. Did you... take our Halloween treats? asked Luna, trying to sound stern but struggling to hide her amusement. The raccoon hung his head. I'm sorry, it's just... my family didn't get any treats last night. I was so hungry, and I thought no one would mind. I can give it back. The puppies exchanged glances, feeling a mix of emotions. Max thought for a moment before nodding. Tell you what, instead of taking back the treats, how about we share them? You can bring your family, and we'll have a Halloween after party. The raccoon's eyes widened with excitement, and he scampered off to get his family. Within minutes, he returned with three other raccoons, all looking bashful but excited. The pups quickly set up a little area in the yard with the leftover treats they still had, along with some bones they'd stashed away. They even dug up a pumpkin to carve with their little teeth, creating a puppy-style jack-o'-lantern. What followed was a fantastic morning of laughter and fun. The puppies and raccoons shared candy, chased each other in the leaves, and took turns hiding treats for each other to find. As the sun rose higher and the little raccoon family waved goodbye, Penny sighed happily. This was the best Halloween ever, even if it was the day after. Yeah, said Gus, and we made some new friends. The pups all curled up together under the big oak tree, their tails wagging as they drifted off to sleep. They'd solved the mystery, had an adventure, and most importantly, learned that sharing made treats taste even sweeter.